are set to boom this one away. And off we go from Seattle. On the return from his end zone, Godwin Iguibuque. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. by Dallas to start the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there in the first down run. He gets maybe three. On second and seven, Smith. And a little floater there is incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Here's Smith. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. Gets it out quickly here to the left flat. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. To throw is Smith. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Geno down to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. The seventh play now in this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Back to throw, Smith. Man open, it's Goodwin. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Snap it to Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they pick up a big chunk of yards to boot. 18 of them. And they'll run. It's Ken Walker. And he takes this for about six down inside the 40. The last run got six. Now second and four. Back in tight. Back in tight. 
Play action. It's Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. An early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Okay, ready? Here we go on fourth, Smith, and it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert, and this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Uchenna and Rosu got the sack there. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now Jackson. And his throw here is incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say it was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Jackson. And that is incomplete. Nice, smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteed he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had 
Oh, it floated on him, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former Husky, Marcus Peters. But such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. Jackson will keep it, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Ravens take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Iguabuque to return it from his end zone here. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Throwing on third down, Smith over the middle, and he's got good one complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist to the referee, and that means fourth down. On fourth down, Smith. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. He will have the conversion and more than that. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Second quarter now from Seattle. And it is the Seahawks with the football here. As they've got it with a first and ten. Come on, come on. Hey. To the air again, Smith. This complete to Lockett. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Now Gino on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. Throwing again on second down. Smith got his man complete over the middle. That's good one. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 29-yard line. And the slot man goes in motion left. Walker now at first and 10. Down at the 25. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Slot man moves right. And Walker once more. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. And the Seahawks on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and seven. Smith. It's caught. Lock it. Touchdown, Seahawks! Tyler Lockett, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Seahawks are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Gino's going to throw, and it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert, and along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Taken from about the 12. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Tariq Woolen picks it, and the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. He comes up with the interception there. From the 27, Smith. Left side here, that's the tight end fan. Straight ahead, Walker. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Two minutes even in what's been a tight first half. 8-7, our score. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Stick it with Walker on second down. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, here's Walker. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. On fourth down, Smith. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. On first down, Smith. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Seven pirates, seven pirates. On second and goal, Smith. And this a quick slant to lock it. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. Now Smith on third and goal. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks would extend their lead here just before halftime. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And it's up and good. That pushes the lead now to 15-7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not much on this one. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet. Touchdown! Tyler Lockett on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead is up to 15 now. 
So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. One second, all that remains. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. Pulls it in at the 13. And able to get this out to the 25. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. 15 yards there on the play as they try to chip away at this 15-point deficit. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Here's Jackson to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. To throw again on second down. Jackson, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I didn't notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. Now they go for it on fourth down, but that pass is knocked away and incomplete. Apparently they weren't interested in playing the field position game. They opt to keep their offense out there. A big mistake in hindsight. Yeah, that one backfired, and hindsight's always 20-20, but let's call it what it was. We would have first guessed that one and said, don't do it here. Bad situation. I think they need to be closer to midfield before I would start to think it was a good idea. And once you start taking risks like that, you're going to have to keep taking them throughout the game, especially when they don't work. Yeah, at this stage of the second half, interesting. On second and ten, Smith. Oh, he tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 37. After the interception, here's Jackson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jamal Adams. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. They'll run on first down with Dallas. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Here's Smith now on second down. Throw left side caught by Goodwin. Touchdown, Seahawks. Marquise Goodwin, 28 yards. And the Seahawks take a three-touchdown lead. PAT would extend their league, but there is a flag on the play. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. 
And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Now it's Jackson. And that's going to be caught. It's James Prochet on the move past the 40. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Now Smith. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the former Husky, Marcus Peters. The 30. 10, 5, and he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. So that potentially a turning point here this third quarter. A two-score lead down to one now following the pick six. And that had to be the message at halftime for this defense delivered and accepted. We need to go out there and make something happen. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Igwe Buque to return it from his end zone here. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. To try again after the sack. Smith catches made by Metcalf. He's at the 40. The 20. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf, 91 yards. And the Seahawks will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on knees pose. His guys will go for two here. Here's Smith looking to throw. It's complete. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there. This oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Jordan Brooks with it. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll fake it. Now Smith. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. He hits his target, Lockett. Touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shy of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. Back now in Seattle, Washington where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Here's Myers now to kick it away. From way up at the 23. set at the line for this next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming games. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about that his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Uchenna Nuosu. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. The part of this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort to match their opposition's pick six from earlier in this game? Pulls it in at the 13. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the ice. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Kobe Bryant. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. Reception. Here's Smith. His throw incomplete. 
A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. Third and two, Smith. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Now here's Goodwin with it on the jet sweep. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Oh, they'll get this to Metcalf on the jet sweep. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Smith. And that's knocked away and incomplete. But their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Myers connects on the PAT. And this one was over a line ago as they just add on to that big lead. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. After the sack on first down, Jackson under pressure, and they got to him again. Daryl Taylor in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now Jackson. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Kobe Bryant. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. It helps seal away one of their best efforts of the season. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. Here's Smith. He's got his big tight end fan. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. They snap it to Smith. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. There he goes right side. Pass the 20. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. He had his eyes on the end zone. He got close. At least he set the offense up nicely, but he's probably mad he didn't take that one to pay dirt. I agree with you, and you know he's going to get teased because he didn't get it all the way into the end zone. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a touchdown, he won't just get teased. They'll be glaring at him. How'd you not score? 
Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been in true to form for him. I don't know what he thinks going on out there, CD. That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Takes it at the seven. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Throwing now, Smith. And that's going to be caught downfield by Fan. He's got room at the 30. Look at the big fella go. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, when they said before the game that they were going to try and execute every second of this contest, I, I guess that that was taken literally because here they are in the final moments of the fourth, putting another touchdown on the board, Charles, to add to this big lead. I'm not a big believer in 110%, but it certainly applies here, doesn't it? Because some guys just can't go with less. As long as there's time left on the clock, they're pushing to get to the end zone one more time. They don't really care about what the optics are. They just want to finish the game off the way that they like to play it. Full speed, all out. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach? For and my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football. CD, this defense, I mean, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. Over the middle, that's caught by Metcalf. And they move this all the way down to the nine. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. 